Hello, my name is Duncan McQueen and I'm going to talk to you about the Forest Connect Alliance, um, which is an alliance of uh, practitioners in 13 countries um, supporting small forest enterprise. And we run an online network um, which is uh, run through a Ning site, which is an open access site um, to spread information and share approaches and tactics on how to support small forest enterprises. Uh, we now have uh, more than 800 members on the, on the network uh, from 60 countries um, from all continents. In terms of the network, it's driven, uh, it, was a, it was set up by two institutions primarily, uh, the International Institute for Environment and Development, which is where I work, and also the uh, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Um, as the network developed, we set up a steering committee, which is predominantly um, run by uh, partners from southern countries. Uh, at the moment, we have uh, Tree Aid in Burkina Faso, uh, Tikanel in Guatemala, and Sab in Nepal the North Rukununi District Development Board and, and Farm Africa from Ethiopia. Um, and that's helped in the sense that uh, they have an active uh, role in uh, putting up new information, sharing new information and encouraging people to join the network. They also take a, a, a role in, in decisions relating to the activities. Um, we believed small forest enterprises were isolated. To tackle that isolation, we wanted to uh, build a momentum for supporters of small forest enterprise um, and try and connect them with each other, with service providers, with policy makers. The international network was really to share tactics and approaches that were working so that people could learn from one another. It has a life of its own and people put material up there all the time so I keep a check on on anything that's interesting and try to respond to queries and, uh, and post uh, news that I feel is, is relevant. I think small forest enterprises are absolutely crucial to what goes on in the forest. These are local people who uh, live in and use forest products and, uh, and so they have a decisive role to play in uh, avoiding deforestation or the reverse and they're absolutely critical if we want, for example, to avoid deforestation and degradation to mitigate climate change, um, spreading sustainable forest management practices among these small forest enterprises is, actually, is a, a, absolutely crucial. We were surprised by the reach uh, that an online network has. Um, so the key, I would say, with a, an online network that really generates interest and, and has momentum is this um, shared vision for an area of work that is important and people who want to know and, and learn from one another about how to do it better. So we need to intensify in a, in a pro-poor way how uh, forest landscapes can actually provide these needs while conserving the forests. And, and the sort of small forest enterprises that do that I think are, are going to be uh, a very interesting and important area to support in the future and so that's really where the Forest Connect Alliance is heading. So thanks very much for listening.